Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rakak Wadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, this is a testimony to Great Millstone. Okay. Uh, we are not learning false prophecy, but our lives will get harder from from here on out, okay? And um, this is uh, something that, uh, whether you believe me or not, you know, but this is just a testimony of something that happened to me when I first came into the truth, okay? I first found out about the name, Yahweh Basim Yahweh okay? And I found out, you know, that we basically was living a lie, and I repented, you know, and I told the Lord that I was going to, you know, serve him, you know, for the rest of my life. As soon as I found out the truth, you know, and um, that I was going to make a change. So I prayed in the name of Yahweh Basim Yahweh And um, I lied to you not, you know, uh, you know, it, if I'm lying, <laughs> you know, uh, that, that wouldn't be the right thing to do. But um, when I when I prayed and um, I went to sleep a couple of days later, I had a voice come to me in my head, and um, that voice it said that I am not learning false prophecy, but my life would get harder for me from here on out. So um, that right there led me, you know, as I was studying and going through the scriptures, okay. Um, I'm going to bring out this scripture, Isaiah 30 and 21. And your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. When I first came into the truth, the only group that I was following was Great Millstone. Okay? And the apostles of Great Millstone. The elders, that's the only groups that I was listening to, okay? When that voice came to me and it told me that I'm not learning false prophecy, okay? And basically, that's that to me confirmed that the apostles was teaching the truth, okay? That this is, this is the way, okay, towards getting to the kingdom, okay? In, in, in the scriptures, it talks about Acts 14 and 22 that, you know, through much trial and tribulation that, you know, the disciples are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Now, I heard that, okay, that, that word, and I'm not saying that I'm Isaiah or anything like that. You know, that's just what the, the scriptures, you know. But this is Matthew 10 and 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what you hear in the air, that preach ye upon the housetops. Okay? And, hey, it's funny because I'm kind of living on top of somebody's house or whatever. But, you know, I, I, uh, I, I heard this, you know, this, um, this, this word, okay, in my ear. That, and it was a powerful saying, man. That I'm not learning a false prophecy, but, you know, my life will get harder for me from here on out. And that, to me, confirmed that no matter what I go through, you know, in the future, you know, and I've been through some, some stuff coming into this truth, you know, being homeless and so on and so forth. But it's not about me, you know. This is more so of uh, being, you know, edif edifying other brothers, you know, because I don't believe that, you know, Hey, while I'm still here, Yahweh Shai didn't come back yet. My work isn't done. I still don't know whether I'm a man of the Lord or not. You know, I pray that I am. But the the, the point is that I, I perceive that I might, you know, have to go through uh, even more help. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble isn't here. You know, before Jacob's trouble, I might, you know, something might happen. You know? And all I, all I can do is just pray that, you know, the Lord sees that I'm sincere, you know, and that he keeps me and doesn't take that Holy Spirit away from me. 
And that should be the same type of mindset that brothers have. Because when when that tribulation come, okay, we supposed to have this this wisdom, the proper judgment. And uh not let everything that we we know and and learn from this from 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 in this truth to just fly out the window. Okay? We want to hold firm onto the prophecies and knowing that Yahweh Sai is going to come. Okay? And that we got to trust in Yahweh Sai. This is Psalms 50 and 14. Offer unto Yahweh by Sai thanksgiving. And pay your vows unto the Most High. And Yahweh Sai takes them vows very seriously, man. Okay? I first came into the truth, you know, I took the <laughs> vow of a Nazarene. You know, didn't know what I was doing, you know, but but spiritually we all when you first come into this truth, we all take that that vow of the Nazarene. Okay? Which is spiritual. Okay? And and uh we 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 vowed that we was gonna be devout men onto Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Sa. And that we was you if if you didn't, you supposed to you supposed to dedicate your life. Or, or tell the Lord that you're going to dedicate your life onto him. That's, that's, that's this, um, when you come into this truth, that's the vow that we, we have to pay onto the Lord. Okay, it says, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and thou shalt glorify me. Okay, so whatever I go through, I know that the Lord already told me personally, you know, that's how I perceive it, that the Lord, you know, told me that, uh, you know, my life was get, would get harder. So, hey, it might come, you know, in the future where I might, you know, something may, like I said, something big may happen. And I, I just, hey, I'm going to have to pray on the Lord when that time comes and, and, and glorify you, help us see me outside when he gets me through it. See, what, what, what may be... Uh, uh, a strength on to me and other areas may be a, 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 a weakness on to other, other brothers. Now, that's also the, the other way around. Okay? What well, may be a strength on to you may be a, a, a straight up weakness on, on to me. You know? Different brothers, we all got our own cup that we have to, to take. Okay? Or, or drink. You know? It, it, as men, we all have this cup that we have to drink, okay, and this affliction that we have to bear on our own, okay? An another brother cannot drink that cup that is dedicated for you, okay? You have to you have to bear your own burdens. Now, you know, the scriptures also talk about bear ye one another's burdens, okay? So another brother may be able to, to, to help you out, you know? And that might be a way of when 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 um, times get hard, you know the Lord sends a brother to help you out, and you 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 send up praises to Yahweh by Sim Yahusai because He sent that that good brother to help you out, man. Okay, but you gotta have that that patience because the Lord is gonna He's gonna He's gonna do right by you, man. If you dedicate and you 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 uh like I said, you don't let those things. Uh, fly out the window when you're in trouble, okay? Then the Lord is going to deliver you and He's going to glorify you, man. Okay? It's, in, it's a scripture in the book of Proverbs, okay? I'm going to try to get it. Uh, Job, five, or it's Job. Uh, he so Job five and nineteen. He shall deliver you in six troubles, yeah, and seven there shall no, no evil touch you. Okay, so so that seventh trouble is them thermonuclear missiles, man. You know, and and a hey, when them when them missiles get shot, you know you might you might be in the the the, the at the time when when them missiles are coming down, and you just you just uh holding on towards your how about some y'all side, man. You know, but guess what? As soon as the missiles come, you get you get uh, beamed up into the chariots. 
you know, because you have faith, okay? This is uh, James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. The word temptation means the want of doing something wrong or unwise. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Okay? The Lord promised to 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 his servants, the elect, if you love him, man, he's going to give, give you a crown of life. Okay? And how do you show that you love him? When when those times come, man, doing doing the work right now, what we doing right now, okay? This is Second Corinthians one and nine, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves before we came into this truth. You know, we had the mindset that, uh, you know, one day we're gonna die. We don't know when. You know, it ain't nothing. We don't know what the heck gonna happen after that. Well, we know what's gonna happen after that, man. You know. And, and, and our works that we was doing was, was dead, man. We was living in sin, you know? And we still, we, we, we still pray. We supposed to be still praying that the Lord, you know, don't take that Holy Spirit away from us, man. It says that we should not trust in ourselves, but in Yahweh, which raises the dead, who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver in whom we trust that he will del yet deliver us. So we know that the Lord is going to come back. And we trust that he's going to. You're supposed to trust that y'all by some side is going to deliver you man. Okay. But when you go through that. that that Those those trials. You know. And that tribulation. You can't you necessarily. We, we deserve death man. From all the stuff that we did man. And probably still doing today. You know, I pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah has mercy on me and continues to have mercy on me. I mean, and yeah, continue to have have mercy on me, man. You know, and now I, you know I could bestow that mercy on to, to other brothers too, man. You know, that 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 fear kicks in, man. You know, this is uh, Romans eight and eighteen. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay? Now what's that glory? That that you are actually a son of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. You know? <laughs> you might you might get kicked out, but then guess what? The Lord brings you right back in. You might lose something, but guess what? The Lord restores it. You know, back onto you. Okay? Man, we can, with this truth, man, we can defeat everything, man, in this world, man. Okay? Everything in this present time, death, everything, man. We can de defeat anything, man, that, that that's before us, man. You know? You gotta, you gotta actually believe that. We can defeat anything, man. Okay? And the Lord is gonna restore everything, man, because death is gonna be the last thing that's swallowed up. You know, this is First Peter 1 and 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than, than of gold that perisheth, okay, though it be tried with fire, because when you get, when you go through that, that, that trial, man, okay, the Lord want to see whether you, 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 you really call on him, man, in a sincere heart, you know, and you might get, you might need to, you might need to be, we, we all have this um, shrine, sign and crying spirit right now. We seeing all the abominations and stuff like that, you know. But it's still more more humbling that we can we can do even more, man. Sometimes, hey, if you ain't catching hell, you know, <laughs> you you got a question when the heck when that when that when the next hell gonna come, man. You know. Because that's 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 the the cost of following Yahweh by some y'all side, man. When you follow when you follow the Lord, that's that's what's going to come, man. Okay, and when you when you go through that hell, the Lord want to see whether you're going to call on Him or not. Okay, and it's already determined whether you are or not. It says, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise 
and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. It says, whom having not seen, you love, and whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. And before that, Yahweh Shah comes, you know what the scriptures say, will he, will he find faith? You know? So we don't know what the heck going 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 to happen, but we know that hey, as long as Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shem Shah is on our life, that we are able to conquer over anything, cause Yahweh Shah conquered everything, man. Okay. So you know that's just you know my testimony, you know, and uh, you know, hey, we gonna catch out, man, you know, and I'm pretty sure that you know my time. <laughs> My time, uh, it, it, that's what the Lord say. That's what the Lord say. The Lord, Yahweh Shah said, uh, John 7 and 6, Then Yahweh Shah said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. Okay? So we always, we always supposed to be ready, man, for that time when it comes, man. You know? We know it's coming. And, and and we gonna be we gonna be weak, man. Yahweh Shah got weak. Okay. So if Yahweh Shah got weak, then who, who are we, man? The scripture says that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. So we're not learning false prophecies, and our life will get harder for us from here on out, man. Okay. You can bet on it. Okay. But with that, man, I want to say salawam.